Nations Minister Stella Indebeni Abrahams has issued an apology tonight after an altercation with an SABC camera cruise at an a crew at an ANC rally in Mount Freer in the Eastern Cape. Her statement reads as follows, I quote, I would like to offer my sincere, unreserved apology for an earlier altercation with some members of the media during the ANC provincial rally in Mount Freer while trying to stop the singing comrades. I wish to assure the media and South Africa at large of my unreserved commitment to media freedom. I sincerely regret the incident. That's the end of the apology tonight from the communications minister. For reaction to this and an incident in which she used her hand to block our, ca our cameras from filming today, I'm joined on the line by Media Monitoring Africa's Executive Director, William Bird. William, good evening to you. Thank you so much for your time. You've heard about the blocking of the camera, literally the hand of the minister in front of our camera tonight. She's now apologised unreservedly. How do you see this incident? Uh, good evening. Well, I think the apology is the fact that it's come so quickly. I think it needs to be taken into consideration, and certainly it's a, it's a gesture that needs to be appreciated. That said, I think it's, uh, it's, it's extraordinary that you've got the Minister of Communications blocking the public broadcaster, no less, from seeking to do their job. It, it speaks to an approach and an attitude to media and media freedom that I think is, is, is really... Uh, quite despicable and certainly not in keeping with South Africa's constitutional uh, democracy and certainly not in line with our own principles of media freedom. I think it also speaks to uh, a blurring of the lines between the role of a person for a political party versus a person who's a minister of communication. So in as much as her apology needs to be taken into consideration, it's, a, it's an extraordinary act, and I think that there need to be some consequences for this. Do you believe then that the ANC or government, I mean she is a minister in the cabinet of President Cyril Ramaphosa, uh, despite the unreserved apology, do you believe that this uh, action is so serious that there still needs to be some action taken against her? Well, had it not been the Minister of Communication, had it not even been the SABC, and even then, you're saying, you know, the kind of action that they were prevented from doing their basic job and their basic duty, I think that, it, you know, the President has to take some kind of action against this. I don't think that uh, he could possibly allow one of the ministers in his cabinet in the lead-up to elections to be saying, oh, well, she's apologised, everything's fine. No, not at all. I don't think that that can be something that, that would be permissible for our government, let alone for the ruling party. The minister says in her statement tonight that she wants to reassure South Africans about, quote, her unreserved commitment to media freedom, end quote. Do you, do you accept the, her bona fides in this? I mean, do you, do you accept that in face value for her comment that she's made about this issue tonight? Well, I mean, you have to find that difficult to believe given her actions, you know, saying as much as she's going to, I mean, she's got a long road to travel now to regain uh, our belief and our trust in her that she does actually have a real commitment to media freedom, precisely because in the heat of the moment, when things were going down, that is when she decided to try and intervene. Uh, and I think that that in itself speaks volumes. So, yes, as I've said, the speed of her apology, the fact that it seems to be uh, very well intentioned, I think those are things that certainly count in her favour. But I think we would be very uh, sceptical to suggest or believe that we can just take her apology and say, OK, let's move on. There is an election coming, as you say, William. How important do you think it is for media to know that it can act freely and fairly during an election? And by media, of course, I include, I'm afraid, our, ourselves, the SABC, the public broadcaster. Well, exactly. I mean, and, and again, this is the minister who we know, instead of being going and saying, where is the guarantee for the public broadcaster? Why do we not have the board members? Has been saying things that are at odds with that. And here we have a, a, another direct threat to the independence and the ability of journalists to do their job for the public broadcaster. So really, this is a big problem now for the ANC in terms of where they stand on media freedom. And I, you know, I think we can expect a lot of the other political parties to jump on the bandwagon and start beating. All right, William Bird, thanks very much indeed for joining us at short notice tonight. That is the breaking story. William Bird, of course, is the executive director of Media Monitoring Africa, but you've heard the apology, the unreserved apology from the communications minister, Stella Indebeni Abrahams, tonight for putting her hand over an SABC television camera while at that ANC event in the Eastern Cape.